Traditional neighborhood design or new urbanism really started grabbing hold in the early 1980s. Uh, Peter Katz wrote a book, New Urbanism, and it took hold mostly in the more urban areas. Traditional neighborhood design is targeted toward a neighborhood where people actually live on their front porch instead of their back deck. They interact with each other. Um, they get out of their car and greet people, not go into the house and retreat into their living room. It's come to fruition the last few years. Uh, you can know that and see that by driving through the neighborhoods, by talking to the people that live there. And they actually work, work there, they play there, and that was the whole design behind it. One of the fundamental qualities of new urbanism is focusing on the quality of life of, its re of the residents within the development. So over 200 acres, or about 20% of the ground, was actually donated to green space, parks, and green belts for people to enjoy and use. In addition to that, we'll have over 13 miles of walking trails within the development, and that will add to the already 33 miles of trails that are in Ankeny. But you also have statewide trail access. You know, sometimes we hear that the yards are so small in Prairie trail and it, when you really get back behind the houses and look at the yards you're going to find that they're similar size to most residential neighborhoods but in addition to that you have over 200 acres of park to play in. I find that most of the residents love and, and I love personally is that you know you spend a half an hour mowing your yard and then you're out in the park playing. Uh, we sat down and, and uh, as a group and tried to name the parks at Prairie Trail. Vintage Lake is right next to Vintage Parkway. Promenade Lake as Promenade Park. Chautauqua Park, the city park, uh, actually the name Chautauqua harkens back to the old Chautauqua revivals that went across the Midwest back in the turn of the century. Another park that was done early on in the development was Dean Park, which is an acre and a quarter park uh, with a small structure, some rubberized play surface, some play equipment, some dancing waters. Um, and it was named after Dennis's father, Dean, and we all take pride in that.